We begin with developing news in the East Bay now. Several Antioch and Pittsburgh police officers have been arrested in connection with an 18-month-long FBI investigation into an alleged criminal network of law enforcement officers. According to the East Bay Times, the FBI rounded up the officers early this morning in a series of raids around the Bay Area. The raids followed indictments handed down by a federal grand jury in San Francisco. It accuses the current and former officers with a wide range of offenses, including criminal conspiracy. The indictment is sealed until 3.30 this afternoon. Now, the arrests mark the end of an investigation that started early last year after a tip to the FBI and Contra Costa District Attorney that probe widened to include alleged violent crimes, drug trafficking, and scandals. After seizing several officers' cell phones, investigators stumbled upon thousands of racist and homophobic text messages involving dozens of Antioch police officers, shedding light on racism within the department. It's resulted in about 40 percent of the department being put on paid leave. In a statement to KTVU this morning, Antioch Mayor Lamar Thorpe says in part, quote, Today is a dark day in our city's history as people trusted to uphold the law allegedly breached that trust and were arrested by the FBI. As our city absorbs the tragic news, we must come together as one. Today's actions are the beginning of the end of a long, arduous process. Law enforcement officers are sworn for a reason. We bear a tremendous responsibility to police our communities lawfully and in keeping with the Constitution. Antioch officers Eric Rombo and Devin Wenger accused of violating the rights of suspects by using excessive force or less lethal weapons and bragging about it in text. Wenger and former Antioch officer Daniel Harris also accused of conspiring to distribute anabolic steroids. Antioch canine officer Morteza Amiri charged with sharing photos of dog bite victims and tallying up those incidents as trophies. Ex-Antioch and Pittsburgh officer Timothy Manley Williams charged with manipulating a wiretap operation by calling a target of the case and destroying the cell phone of someone recording an arrest with a police dog. A Mary and Pittsburgh officers Patrick Burhan, Brawley Rodriguez Jalapa, Amanda Theodosi, and seen here Ernesto Mejia Orozco, charged with paying someone to take online college courses on their behalf to boost their pay. LOL. Putting a pistol in someone's mouth and telling them to stop stealing isn't illegal. It's an act of public service to prevent further victims of crimes. That is a text message allegedly sent from one Antioch police officer in 2020 to another. One of a number of text messages found in one of four unsealed indictments released on Thursday by the United States Attorney's Office. Let me be clear. Color of law violations will not be tolerated. That from FBI Special Agent in Charge Robert Tripp, referring to someone in an official position who deprives someone else of their constitutional rights, which is what is being alleged in many of these documents. The indictment describes how defendants boasted about their illegal uses of force in text messages between one another. Within these four indictments, nine sworn police officers and one community officer with not only the Antioch Police Department, but the Pittsburgh Police Department as well. As to some of the charges... Conspiracy to violate wire fraud, conspiracy to distribute anabolic steroids, wire fraud, numerous civil rights violations, destruction, alteration, and falsification of records in federal investigations and obstruction of justice. The indictment shows numerous text messages discussing use of force on individuals. In 2020, one officer texts this to another, LOL, what did you get? Then a derogatory term for a person of color. In another alleged text, an officer writes, I walked out the tent and game planned how to expletive him up, went back and did justice, wish you were there, inside a tent with no cams. Collectively, these four indictments describe a group of officers who acted as though they were above the law. One of the indictments also alleges that an officer used his personal cell phone to tip off the target of a wiretap. Eight of these officers have already had first appearances in court. Two more will have that soon. These crimes have maximum sentences of 10 to 20 years in jail if convicted.